Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. And we begin with a bunch of birds outsmarting a slew of scientists. The experiment started out straightforward enough, with researchers strapping small tracking devices to the backs of Australian magpies in order to follow their comings and goings. But the brilliant birds, known for their brains and big personalities, had other plans. They took turns lying on their backs and snipping off each other's harnesses. According to an article in The Conversation, the magpies displayed terrific teamwork and problem-solving skills. As for the researchers, they're headed back to the drawing board. The economic squeeze put on Vladimir Putin by the West seems to be working. According to CBS News, the value of Russia's currency is tanking, making the ruble now worth less than one U.S. cent. And yesterday, the International Olympic Committee took aim at both Russian rubles and Russian pride by urging athletic clubs around the globe to ban Russian athletes from all upcoming competitions. FIFA ran with the recommendation and immediately booted Russia from soccer's World Cup. The IOC statement also called out Mr. Putin by name for violating what it called the Olympic Truce, an international agreement to maintain peace during the period of the Games. Unclear at this point is the impact on the Paralympics, a competition for athletes with disabilities, which begin on Friday. Russia's attempt to take over its neighbor will almost certainly cast a long shadow over President Biden's first State of the Union address, which is tonight. The televised speech is given every year in front of a joint session of Congress and is intended to update the American people on how the country is doing and the vision the commander-in-chief has for its future. According to sources, Mr. Biden's original version focused on COVID, the economy, and his historic pick for the Supreme Court. Now speechwriters have had to add in Russia's recent aggression and the impact of the U.S. response. The State of the Union begins at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight and will be carried on all the major networks. For seven and a half million school kids in the West, masks could be coming off in 12 days. Yesterday, the governors of California, Oregon, and Washington issued a joint statement that will make face coverings in class a recommendation rather than a requirement. The new rule goes into effect on March 12th. COVID put a serious crimp in it last year, but today it's back in a big way. Mardi Gras, which is French for Fat Tuesday, is a food-centric celebration that dates back thousands of years and takes place every year on the day before Ash Wednesday, the official start of the Christian fasting season of Lent. Cities around the world take part, but New Orleans in Louisiana might be the most vibrant with wild parades, tricked out floats, feathery face masks, decadent king cakes, and beads. Lots and lots of beads. The objective is to have fun and eat before starting the traditional 40 days of fasting, prayer, and reflection that leads to Easter. In other Kid News notes, history was made at the Screen Actors Guild Awards when a film centered around a teenager who's the only hearing member of a deaf family won the top award. Coda took home the trophy for outstanding ensemble performance, the first time a predominantly deaf cast has done so. Actor Michael Keaton almost missed his big win when his name was called for Best Actor in a limited series. He was taking care of business in the bathroom. He rushed to the podium and laughed off his lateness before getting serious and dedicating his dope-sick win to his nephew and sister. And Selena Gomez also made headlines when she tripped over her high heels on the red carpet. A short time later, she sauntered on stage in her Oscar de la Renta gown and bare feet. Twitter loved it, and so did Nicole Kidman, who later ditched her own shoes in solidarity. Before we get to our quiz, a reminder that Kid News is a nonprofit and counts on your generosity to keep our news antenna up and our microphones on. Thank you to all who've donated so far. And for those who'd like to, please visit our website at www.kidnews.org. Now, today's questions. What kind of birds outsmarted researchers? Australian magpies. 
The president's speech to a joint session of Congress tonight is known as what? A State of the Union Address According to CBS News, sanctions on Russia have made the currency there worth how much? Less than one U.S. cent. Mardi Gras means what in French? Fat Tuesday In today's Kid News Kicker, it was quite a find for a couple feasting on seafood at the Jersey Shore. Michael Spressler ordered his usual, a dozen clams on the half shell, but when he got to the last one, noticed it was heavier than the rest. He still ate it, only to realize something very unclam-like was now rolling around inside his mouth. What he thought might be a pebble or broken tooth turned out to be an 8.8 millimeter pearl, potentially worth a lot of money. The odds of that happening? About 1 in 10,000. Before we go, we want to say hello to our teachers in their classrooms, starting with Mrs. Capel at T.S. Cooley Elementary Magnet in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Ms. Graham at Octagon Pond Elementary in Paradise, Newfoundland in Labrador, Canada. Linda DeGeorge at Union High School in Union, New Jersey. Mrs. Allen at Burlington Middle School in Burlington, Kansas. And Miss Mango and her Alcott All-Stars at Alcott Elementary in Wilcott, Connecticut. Thanks for listening. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.